New cars and trucks are being introduced at a breakneck pace, so let's break a few in by twisting the latest car keys to come our way. Grand Theft Automobile, JW. In the early 1970s, the Dodge Challenger was the epitome of the American muscle car experience. Now for 2008, this motoring icon returns with a totally modern edge while still remaining true to its classic bloodline. After being teased for two years, the production version of the 2008 Dodge Challenger SRT8 finally arrived at the recent Chicago Auto Show. As expected, its retro pony car styling clearly shares all the crucial design cues of the original car. In your choice of black, silver, or of course, hemi orange, the Challenger greets fans with a deep chin and wide open grill, flanked by four quaint round headlights. The long hood short rear deck profile is even beefier than the original, but wears the same step up shoulder line as well as a classic flip style gas cap. At the back, tail lamps still run full width, although safety concerns make the bumper fascia chunkier than the original, and to cap it off, a rear lip spoiler that really brings back memories. But owners of the original Challenger could only dream of these forged 20 inch aluminum wheels, perfect for burnouts. And burnout they will, thanks to the massive guts under the hood. Its 6.1 liter Hemi V8 rips out 425 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque, all with a glorious roar. And from 0 to 60 in just over 5 seconds with a sub 14 second quarter mile. A shortened Charger unitized chassis, all independent suspension and Brembo disc brakes are huge upgrades over the 70s era body on frame cars. They give the new Challenger far more than just straight line prowess, all aided by the modern marvels of electronic stability control and all speed traction control. Jump inside the new Challenger and you'll find the classic cockpit with a stout center console shifter, a four dial performance gauge cluster and highly bolstered SRT branded sports seats. Plus all the modern must haves like navigation, music hard drive and side curtain airbags to name only a few. The 2008 Dodge Challenger SRT8 hits the streets in May for about $38,000 plus dealer markup. Few sets of keys get our automotive juices flowing like those to a two-seat roadster. So we jumped at the chance to jet off to the south of France for a turn behind the wheel of the 2009 Mercedes-Benz SLK. Not all new, but significantly refreshed, it's even more of a blast to drive than before. Most notably updated is this hardtop drop tops exterior styling. Changes include a new front fascia with more prominent F1 style nose. And in the rear, a squared off exhaust tip pokes out of the new bumper. Not much has changed inside besides updated electronics and a new three spoke steering wheel. But power has changed. The SLK 350's V6 has jumped to 300 horsepower while also raising fuel economy numbers. Thanks to new mechanical variable ratio steering gear, handling is even more of a joy, though the ride does take a toll on rough roads. There's few automotive moments that can be a scenic curvy road and a two-seat roadster. Throw in a little Mercedes-Benz luxury and you're in for a treat. And for those looking for an even more spirited back road adventure, the SLK 55 AMG is still available. With its 355 horsepower V8 and even stiffer suspension, it reaches the electronically limited 155 mile per hour top speed a bit quicker than before. Look for pricing to be about the same as the current model when the 2009 SLK goes on sale here this summer. And we'll twist more new car keys in just a few weeks.